Whew. Tales are up again this month. My name is Koto Ayama. I run an internet-related business out of my home and office apartment. I produce social networking accounts for corporations. And recently, the number of clients has been increasing, so it's been smooth sailing. But I have a serious problem. That is... Seriously, he got married. And I'm just... I don't know if it's an excuse to say this, but I've been working so hard that I haven't had a chance to meet any women at all. And I haven't done anything about it. It's better to do something than nothing at all. I decided to give it a try and attend a marriage activity party that was being held on a day when I was off work. My name is Kanekra Kaneo. I'm Koto Yama. I'm new to this kind of place. I'm a little nervous. M me too. Really? We get along well. Would you like to have a little chat? Yes, by all means. What do you do for a living, Koto-san? I own my own business. What? So you're the president? Yes, I guess you could say that. Amazing. I don't mean that because you're a president and you seem to have money. I mean that I think it's cool that you're doing something great with your own hands. Thank you. By the way, that looks like an expensive suit. Is it order made? Ah, uh, this? Yes, I recently bought a new one. That's a president. Oh, right. I like to be taken for a drive. I drive an Italian car. A foreign car? That's nice. I feel like she's trying to gauge my financial ability. Is it my imagination? Oh, I'm sorry for asking so many questions. I just want my child to have a good education in the future. And I don't mean to be rude, but I was wondering how you spend your money. I... I see. I see. She's not greedy with money, but she's someone who thinks about the future. By the way, what are your hobbies? Cruising or traveling abroad? No, my hobby is growing flowers. What? Flowers? Yes, I grow them at home. Do you dislike flowers, Kaneo-san? What? No! I love them! Yes, I love them! Really? What is your favorite flower? My favorite flower... Well, um... I'm sorry. You can't pick just one, can you? What? But yes, all flowers are pretty. She seems to be able to think about the future, and she seems to like flowers too. Maybe we can talk some more. We exchanged contact information and went on several dates after that. After a while, Kaneo approached me and we started going out. Hey, I'd like to see the flowers at Koda's house next time. I'm interested in what kind of house you live in too. Okay, I'll invite you to my apartment. What? An apartment? Not a house? No. I thought you had a garden since you said you grew flowers, but an apartment, huh? Oh, but it's a high-rise apartment, isn't it? That would make sense. You're the president. It's not like that. Oh, please. You're being modest again. Then a few days later... What? This is Koda's apartment? Yeah. Why isn't it a high-rise apartment? Because I don't really care where I live. But you're on the top floor, right? This place has a great location and a great view. I'm looking forward to it. No, it doesn't have a great view. I'm on the second floor. What? Second floor? You can see the flowers inside better that way. I show Kaneo to the room and introduce her to the flowers I've been taking care of. Oh, look how pretty they are. Yeah, they are. See how it looks better this way? Uh, hey! Huh? What? Don't get it too close! You'll get dirt on me! What if you get my clothes dirty? These things cost a fortune! Oh, sorry. 
I was surprised by Kaneo's unexpected reaction, but decided to calm down with a cup of coffee first. Here you go! Hey, Koda, what is this about? What? Oh, that's... What Kaneo was holding was my pay stub. I forgot I left it on the table. Three million a year? I'm done! Will you break up with me? What? No, it's... I don't want to hear your excuses. You pretended to have a high income and call yourself the president. You cheated me. I didn't cheat you. You're going to make excuses when I have proof like this? I only date guys who make over 10 million a year. Kaneo, calm down. Ugh, what a waste of my time. I'm going home and don't contact me again. Kaneo. Kaneo walked out without listening to a word I said. She dumped me all of a sudden, and I was at my wit's end. What the hell? I was so depressed that I couldn't even eat for a while. And I can't dwell on it forever. I decided to take a walk in the park for a change. They're all blooming beautifully. Huh? These flowers are cute. Uh, yes, I'm glad they're blooming well. You don't see this kind around here very often. Yes, you know a lot about flowers. No, I just like them. We hit it off because we both like flowers, and before we knew it, we were talking about the Allura flowers. Her name is Suzu Shirakawa-san, and she usually works as a clerk at a local flower store. And on her days off, she volunteers in the community, planting flowers in parks and on the streets. I look forward to seeing them grow here every day. Even on days when I have to work, I always stop by on my way home. I see. Is it possible that all the flowers around here are yours? Yes. Volunteering to grow flowers, huh? That sounds fun. What? Uh, yes. Would you like to join, Kodasan? This is how I ended up volunteering with Suzu-san. I've never had much human contact outside of work, so this was a whole new world for me. I'll plant this one over here. Yes, please. It had been a long time since I had faced flowers without a care in the world. I was strangely drawn to her as she was covered in mud and smiling happily. Kuta-san, you have dirt on your cheeks. You too, Suzu-chan. What? Oh, you're right. <laughs> We grew closer as we volunteered together from time to time. You're such a sweet person, Kodasan. I can tell from the way you treat flowers. You're also very nice. Seeing your smile cheers me up. One day, we were walking back home from our volunteer work. Wait, Koda? Long time no see. K Kaneo. <laughs> What's wrong? Were you playing in the mud at this age? It's not like that. It suits a commoner who makes three million a year. Hmm? Who is she? Is she your new girlfriend? What? N no, she's not my girlfriend, but... You've lowered your game because you weren't taken seriously by a nice girl like me. How pathetic with all that dirt. It's because we took care of the flower beds. We can't help it. A dirty girl like that suits you. What the hell? Don't talk about Suzu-chan like that! You get irritated so quickly. That's why people with three million a year... Um... What? I think you're mistaken, but Koda's three million is not an annual income, but a monthly income. Huh? Monthly income? Don't talk nonsense just to cover for Koda! It's not nonsense, it's true. What? Are you serious? My monthly income exceeds 3 million yen every month. Suzu-chan was very surprised when she first found out about it. But now Kaneo seems to be even more surprised. So you're saying I was mistaken? Why didn't you tell me? I tried to explain, but you wouldn't listen to me. Oh my god. Let's go, Suzu-chan. Okay. Kaneo called my cell phone that night. I'm so glad we ran into each other today. What do you want now? 
We've been together once, so don't be so cold. By the way, are you sure you're not dating her? Huh? We're still just friends. Still, do you like her? Well, I guess you could say that. Damn, that woman. Huh? No, 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 it's nothing. Maybe Kaneo called because she wanted to get back together with me. But my feelings were for Suzu-chan, so I didn't have anything to say to her. And I hung up right away. After that, I still received occasional calls from Kaneo, who was still bitter about me. But she had badmouthed Suzu-chan every time. So I gradually got tired of answering the phone, and now I've blocked the calls. Then, when I was taking a walk, everyone's looking good today. There you are, Koda. Kaneo? I've been looking for you. Why won't you pick up your phone? There's nothing to talk about. That's your attitude? I'm trying to give you some important advice about that woman. What? It, about Suzu-chan? That's right. That woman is dating someone. What? Uh, really? This is the proof. This is Suzu-chan's boyfriend? That's right. It's her boyfriend. I happened to see them on the street the other day. I felt so bad for you that I took a picture to wake you up. Suzu-chan... I see. I didn't know you were dating someone. Too bad. You should give up on her gracefully. Indeed. I would never asked Suzu-chan if she had a boyfriend. I didn't think I'd have my heart broken like this before I confessed my feelings. I think you'd be better off with a nice girl like me. What? Let's forget about that woman and start over with me. I know things got a little awkward between us last time because of our misunderstanding, but let's start over. Oh, sorry I can't. Huh? Why? I don't like people like you who only care about money. S so straightforward. I think it's better to be clear about this. Otherwise, you'll get pushy, won't you? What? Koda-san? Oh, Suzu-chan. I heard you went bankrupt. Are you going broke? Bankrupt? Me? What are you talking about? I didn't understand what was going on, but Suzu-chan seemed to think that my company had gone bankrupt. Better memories came back to me at that time. Kaneo mistakenly thought I didn't have any money at that time and left me. Could Suzu-chan too? I didn't want Suzu-chan to hate me and... I didn't want to see Suzu-chan judging people based on money. But... Let's work together! What? It might be tough, but please be strong. I'll be with you. Suzu-chan... I'll always support you! Thank you! I'm ashamed of myself for even thinking for a moment that Suzu-chan might be influenced by money! Suzu-chan will always be on my side, even when I run out of money! But wait... I'm not bankrupt in the first place. What? But... Kaneo-san? Ugh! Kaneo? Yes, she just showed up at my office out of the blue. Hey, you know what? Kura's company went bankrupt. What? Is that so? He's going broke, so you'd better not deal with that guy anymore. Is what she said. Kaneo, what's this all about? Oh, um, well... Maybe you lied to Suzu-chan to get her to give up on me, so you could get back together with me. If so, then what? What? That's how much I care about you, isn't it? I'm a devoted woman, aren't I? You're not devoted. You're in it for the money, not for me! Oh, well, I love money, but I like you too, Koda. This is a waste of time. Anyhow, I'm glad to know that Suzu-chan cares about me. I was so happy, I couldn't help it. Oh, wait. Maybe I'm getting carried away too soon. Eh? Uh, what's wrong, Koda-san? Oh, it's nothing. I just found out. 
you're dating someone, right, Suzu-chan? I didn't know. What? Someone I'm dating? No, I'm not. Really? But this picture. Oh, that person isn't my boyfriend. Are you serious? A guy asked me for directions. It was close by, so I walked with him for a bit. This is a picture of that time. But how did you get this photo? Kanye, what's going on? Were you trying to trick me? Uh, no. <sighs> hey, you. Don't lie. This is your boyfriend, isn't it? You're so devious to hide it when you're dating someone. Hmm? Why now? I'm busy. Oh, it's me, Bobuo. You didn't forget our deal, did you? Oh, what are you talking about? Uh, you're gonna act dumb with me? I don't think this is a good time. If you've forgotten, I'll remind you. I asked the girl for direction, just like you told me to. And we walked together, right? You promised me that if I walked with her for a while, you'd give the money to me later. You're gonna pay me, right? You're talking too loud. But what was that all about? Taking some kind of picture. Sounds like a call from a cooperative. What are you talking about? I have no idea. <laughs> I knew you were trying to make it look like Suzu-chan had a boyfriend. Maybe you misheard. I heard it too. Ugh. No matter how much you try to patch things up, there's no excuse now. Because I'm appalled that you would deceive people like that. Koda. I don't even want to talk to people like you. So stay away from us once and for all! <gasps> no way! My celebrity life! <laughs> Afterwards, I invited Suzu-chan to dinner and properly told her how I felt. Suzu-chan, I love you so much. Please, stay with me from now on. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. By the way, Kaneyo seems to have joined many marriage activity parties after that to look for a partner, but... She's always thinking about money and her impatience showed on her face, which no one was interested in. I don't care who it is! Just make me the president's wife! Meanwhile, I've moved into a house, living with Suzu and growing flowers. I'm so lucky to live with such a pretty girlfriend. I don't like the sound of that. What? You don't like it? I don't want to be your girlfriend forever. Does that mean... From now on, we'll nurture this flower called life together. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. And don't forget to check out our other episodes too. According to my calculations, you are about to like and subscribe to our videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time.